Let's jump to the wall here, and today we've got a saving your disaster situation slash campaign, I suppose, playing as the Drowned, where Silostra is under siege over here by a lot of lizards. There's a Rite of Primeval Glory army here. There's a lot of crap in there as well, but it's just a lot to deal with. Uh, this army here could potentially reinforce, I suppose. Um, doesn't have much. They're really running out of money. Fairly early game. Um, could force march over to here. Oh no, you won't be able to capture that on force march. Um, so what I'm thinking is, like, it, we could. S Hang on, let me look at this. Ooh, running Promethean. No. Uh, let's see. Um, none of these are going to make a huge difference. Probably just the hit points. So it's on legendary difficulty, valiant defeat, but if we have a look at what we've got here, it's not a terrible army for this stage in the game. It's just a lot there. Um, I'm wondering if we bring this army over here, will it lift the siege? We don't have lightning strike on her, which would have been good, but I don't necessarily... Um, Disagree with the way he's leveled this up. All bones on deck. So if we bring you over here, no will you reinforce? Yes. Okay. Still gives us essentially the same results. Exit. Stage left. In order, resolve. Main concern here is definitely the Rider Prime of Glory Army. We, we could raise a little bit of dead. How many wins we got in the area? Hmm. He really can't afford to go through another end turn with this situation. Because if we win this battle here, we'll get loads of loot that we could use to invest in our provinces. Yeah, even... Mm, bloated corpses, they get nuked in order resolve, but they can do a lot of damage. I'm just going to come up with a, a plan on how to deal with this. If we don't control large armies, then these dinosaurs will come in like one at a time. We could stagger them in. My concern will then be that we'll run out of ammo eventually. Hmm, that could be a lot higher than that by this point. Um, this guy here, what's his name? Burke Black, is he... Let's have a look. He's got this one. Physical resistance. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one for him to have. If you put him over here, you could reduce your upkeep costs. That'll that'll probably get you uh, in back into the green. But let's maybe do that after the battle, assuming we survive. Um, I'm going to fight it as it is right now. Could raise some dead, but since his finances are so bad, I feel like we can win this. I'm going to deny reinforcements because we'll actually get two of our guys coming in at the start. This one here and this one because when you've got 19 units, which we do, it picks one unit from each of the armies, so we'll be at 21. They'll be, they'll actually have the similar situation as well. They'll probably have like 23 maybe, but hopefully they'll stagger their forces at us. That's really all I can hope for. If we have a look at the map here. If we hold this position here, that could be quite good. The biggest problem is going to be that once we run out of ammunition, I can't withdraw any units from the battlefield. So, units that run out of ammo just have to die, which really sucks. But, you know, we'll do whatever we can. I'll just have to be really conservative with ammo, I suppose. Yeah. Probably won't be a good idea that we shoot at skinks. Because it'd just be a waste of ammo due to their high shields and low value, but... We get the mortars to shoot the skinks. And... We try to shoot at anything else that's high value. Yeah, decent defensive position up here. Reinforcements coming from here. Okay, I, I think I think if we hold our position here, 
we might be able to handle it. Because, yeah, definitely can't wait any longer to Sally out or wait for them to attack. It wouldn't provide any defensive advantage either waiting for them to attack because there's no walls here. Yeah, this would be a good spot for the cans. I'll move a little bit further back, actually. Because I think we'll have a bit of time before they arrive. See, I was right. Oh, uh, he was on a uh, running Promethean. <laughs> I don't know, I hate running Promethean so much. Okay, give them absolutely no possibility for flanking us. That over there is going to be a little bit of a dif uh, difficult spot because if they come up through here, our gunnery mobs aren't going to be able to shoot them properly. These two here will be very handy. Oh, that's right, they've got that crap. Luckily, like, pretty much instantly broke, so that's good. I think he got terrified there. So they'll have three of those. It's good that that didn't do any damage. Terror ran out, but they'll get it again. Hang on, hold your fire, hold your fire. Yeah, see how they're staggering at us? They're coming at us in waves. This is good, but we're not super ready for this just yet. Could layer ourselves a little bit because it's a hill. This is definitely the biggest concern. If they really want to attack us, like, well, they'd come up through here. Um, no, 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 no. Shoot, shoot at that. You hold your fire. You, no, no, no. You shoot at Mazda Mundi if you can. Okay, if they want to shoot at that, that's fine. Okay, we've got some wins. Whose magic should we use? Death magic or this one? No, definitely not death magic. Um, I think, like, delaying abilities like this would be really useful. Okay, let's get to it. Good, getting rid of the pterodons like that, that's good. A little bit of a scramble at the start, but we're okay to begin with here. Shame we don't have vampire magic, that'd be really handy. For healing our single entities. Yeah, have Silostra stand up front there, because you've got loads of physical resistance. Just tank all their physical damage. So I'm not firing with this, just actually, you know what? Okay. This is good. Good, good start so far. Also got this. Nice hit there. Good, slows them down. That's what we want to see. Uh, this is back again. You gotta deal with that. Yeah, you come over here. So yeah, the biggest concern here is that we're just going to run out of ammo. Because there's so many of them. Not that we don't actually have a good enough army to handle them, but yeah, there's so many of them. And if we're efficient, we might inflict the army losses before it gets too bad. Yeah, we don't have ballistics calibration. That use our heroes to tank. Use this in a little bit, not just yet. Says victory is in our grasp already. That's good, but it doesn't take into consideration the reinforcements that we have to deal with. Like, none of the dinos are here yet. Alright, let's get one of these down on there. Gotta move back a little bit. There's this as well, but I don't find that particularly... Oh, just use the first, it's fine. Just, just 
ですけどまずオッケーロシアのジョブタンキングソファー。ゲイユニットストップ、ユノシューティングエニティング。シューティング。マスターバンディ、レスゴーキルヒム。オッケー、ソロシアのタイキングトゥマシュダメージ。ユニットゲットアウトだ。ケイユゲットアウトアウトアウトアウトアンヴァンパイアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘアウィズッヘア Good, there goes Master Mundy, and their leadership's gonna be lowered. Yeah, it's on very hard battle difficulty. It's curious. Because, yeah, when you send in a disaster battle, I just play whatever settings you've sent it to me. Unless you put it on easy. Okay, I'll usually bump it up if that's the case. Because sometimes people will play on Legendary Campaign on easy battle difficulty, and it's like, I see what you did there. It's fine, I don't care. Alright. Okay, we got a little bit of a relaxed time. Let's use this one's extra powder for the um for the Queen Best. That should all go for the Queen Best. Okay, moving up a little bit. Let's tidy this up a bit. It's really, really good that the uh, uh that the uh, the cold ones are gone now. Okay. Now, we don't want to wipe these ones out here just yet because as soon as they're gone, they bring in more reinforcements. I would much rather deal with the enemy 10 units at a time rather than four, like 20 units at a time. I was going to say 40, but they, they can't get that. Is there anything that we can do to heal Silostra? I do have that. Um, you do, but we can't fake cast anymore. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we can. I mean, it's not really worth it. But yeah, we can fake cast by doing this. Oh, it doesn't have to be. If you do this and then. So, having a look. Yeah, there we go, we fake casted. <laughs> But I can only. I have to use an ability in order for that to happen. So, it's nowhere near as good as it used to be. But you know, we, we inflicted a little bit of damage on all of them. It's about 50 damage. Alright. This gives us a chance to rest. Okay, it, honestly, the terrain here seems a lot better than where we're at because the hill's steeper right there. But obviously, the wider we go, the easier it's going to be for them to flank us. Okay, let's move them up a little bit as well. They're just about in range. Alright, we got dinos coming. I think we're gonna need some more ammo on them. Hang on, how'd they do anyway?、Mm. Kind of wanna just save it for. Actually, you know what? The carronade will be useful. We'll、uh, go with that. Okay, I got an idea. What if you act as a distraction for a little bit? Try to get them. Alright, let's go fire at will.
So, his speed's 75, and their speed is also 75. And they're not on Force March, okay. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe we'll wait before we shoot with that one. Mm, if we can make some of them go backwards, that'd be really good. That is not super efficient. But they're not really paying... Oh, no, they are a little bit. Yeah, look, they're, they're coming backwards. That's what we want to see. Because, yeah, we want the mortars to get rid of their infantry and the guns... Cannons to get rid of the carnosaurs. Alright, who's going to be... Oh, what the... Oh, no, 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 no. Why'd you move up? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't... If I move them back... You're going to have to stand back. Why'd you... Nah, the terrain's not good enough for them, I guess. It's on guard mode. Silosha so should be okay. She's considered small. Biggest small person I've ever seen. Yeah, not good there with the... Uh, with that. Okay, that's it. Lure it away. That's what we want to see. Okay, you're going to have to tank that for a little bit. Come on, shoot at the fucking carnosaurs. Get out of there. Alright, I'm going to need one of these now. Pin them down. Get out of there. Oh, this guy might die. Sorry. I just... Stupid death magic. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. Okay, that should put him down. Okay, you need to stand over here. Unfortunately, I can't withdraw from the battlefield. Okay, he'll be fine as long as he stays back here now. Okay, we got issues here. We got issues. <laughs> Come on. He's doing a good job distracting that. Alright, let's bring this one in here. I'm running low on ammo again, but I gotta bring the uh, the powder boys back. Come on, Timmy, you're shooting that. Alright. Stop. Just there, okay. All the, all the artillery just stopped for a little bit. Alright, they're getting rid of that carnosaur. Uh, actually, if you could just shoot at this. Okay, cannon needs to shoot over here. I'm really low on health. We've probably taken out about... I don't know. Half of their army? Maybe a bit more? Okay, I don't want to use the powder stuff on the, um, the regular mortars, just on the Queen Bess. Come on, get back over here. Good, another lord is dead. We're a little bit in a bit mess here. Get back. Good. Alright, we got one more of these. Just save it for a little bit. It's not too dangerous what's coming at us at the moment. Okay, reform. Yeah, that guy can't be used anymore. He's done as bad as much tanking as he could. Okay. Stop firing for a little bit. Because it's only only basic crap now. Okay, let's set up in one line over here. Yeah, just have the Mongol hunters... Sorry, the, uh, the Mongols sort that out. Alright, these are completely out of ammo now. I uh, can't withdraw them from the battlefield. It would be good if I could. But, you know, we're stuck in a sally out situation. Okay, we can terror out these ones. Okay, 
Okay, might also give some ammo to some of these uh, zombie pirate gunnery mobs, because they're very important as well. Alright, we got rid of a lot of dinosaurs so far. I think it's four that we've killed. If we just have a look, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four that's been killed. Alright, that actually might be all the dinosaurs. Now we're dealing with slower ones, so that's good. Okay, just have these guys don't fire on just yet. Okay, so far so good, I think. If these guys can just keep fighting, because none of their casualties have been inflicted, they'll actually keep um, generating health. They might be a little bit better off coming a little bit more over here, and let's angle this a bit more this way. Since they don't seem to be trying to flank us, just rushing at us, we can go a little bit wider. Considering how many... No, no, no. Just save that one for the Queen Bess. Because we're going to need it. There's lots of infantry here that I don't want to waste our regular bullets on. Be a waste. Use area effect on it. I need the regular bullets to go for the Stegodons. That's what we want to be seeing. Alright, let's see if we can try to get the Stegodons over here a little bit earlier. And we've still got one more of this. This actually might be their last reinforcements. I'm not seeing any more coming. So maybe I should do this now. Those will just go to waste. We've got them coming at us. Maybe distract some of them around the other way. Alright, let's do this now because I don't think we're going to get another opportunity. And just charge him into some skins. Alright, everybody now fires at will. Good, see how they're turning around there? They're trying to keep an eye on this. That's what we want to see. Good, good, you're good. They're doing a good job just tanking, holding them back, and doing some damage. That's what we want to see. And is that's not the army losses. No, not yet. Okay, last powder for that one. Good, that's what we want to see. Oh no, they're still bringing in reinforcements. It's not done yet. Oh, that's a good one. Good, good, good. And there's the army losses. There we go. Good. We walked out of that without too many casualties. These guys here obviously took a lot of damage. You really need to get yourself like a vampire magic dude in here for healing. What? Oh, it's because I brought in a Terradon Rider. Okay. Um, yeah, run down as many of them as we can. Especially the Rider Primeval Glory crap. Although what's remaining of the Rider Primeval Glory is uh, not that big of a deal. I think that last little um, more powder really pushed it over the edge there because it was worth so much balance power for this one to have pretty much full ammo. That's why I didn't want to give it to these. Because it was... You know, this was worth more than these three put together.
Hang on a second, hang on. These came in after the army losses. Alright, these three units here are on Force March, so they die no matter what, but this one here doesn't. Interesting. Okay, I got an idea. Because it's not just a disaster battle, it's also a disaster situation or disaster campaign. So I gotta clean things up a little bit. So what we'll do here is with this is just shoot at this a little bit. Don't even bother worrying about them. If we could just do a little bit of damage to it. Because that one's not on... on um, uh, forced March. And then when they get a little bit close, we'll just... Uh, just claim the victory. Wish there was something I could do to generate some health, but... You know, I had all this magic. I didn't even use any magic in this battle. I didn't use it. <laughs> Probably should have. Like, that would have been good. I just didn't use it. <laughs> Man, imagine that. Ah. Actually, why don't we use this one now? And I'll throw it in at them. I don't know what I was waiting for. I mean, we had... Decent reserves. Alright, let's get ready to stop. Because any damage that we take here will just be unnecessary. But if we do a, just a little bit to them, it all adds up. Alright, that'll do. Yeah, I just didn't use any magic. That's so unusual for me. I'm usually, like, relying heavily on magic, but... Uh, the denizens of the deep would have been good, though, and I just, I just didn't use it. But, I mean, we barely... We lost 33 troops. I guess I was just saving it for an emergency, and just that emergency didn't happen because the formation was good. But it probably could have gone a little bit better if I had done it at the start. Okay, so if we grab this, we can go back up to full strength. Or I mean, you gain five grand from that, but yeah, we should go with the money. It's clearly a financial problem here. Okay, then Burke Black should be switched over to here. Saved us a little bit of money. Hang on. What level can Lords be recruited at? Oh, I can't. It's mine. Hmm. Well, you got a port settlement, so we can try this out. Um. Alright, you can recruit them at rank 6. Did you research that technology? You did, okay. Yeah, I know what to do for you. Alright, grab this one. Okay, cool. He's high rank. Then kick him out, and we sh Yep, we can recruit them at rank 11, because if you replace a lord, it doubles the technology buff. So, we just need somebody with... Just rank 10. All bones on deck. So that we can put them here. And since you're using Burke Black, well, you'll have to switch it around next turn. Um, but yeah, that way you've got both. Hang on, what are, what are some other ones that you could get? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then, then we just get rid of him. The seas are mine. Cool. And you can uh, adjust that around later. So, you need 4,800 to get that. I just spent a fair bit, but that's okay. Alright, let's have a look. How, how are you trying to level her up? Yeah, getting to Arcane Conduit would be good. I think that's what you're trying to do. Increase Entity for Damn Knights Errants. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I might just leave it and let you decide what you want. Lightning Strike would have been very useful in that situation. Another thing that you can... Hang on, let me look here. Well, they're beaten by that, because your army's in, like, great shape. They've been totally beaten by that. Yeah, this guy is one of the, um, the unique ones. So he was immortal, so even if he did die, he wouldn't have died. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with the running Promethean now. But yeah, I think we've got that under control then. 
Too bad um, she's not going to heal over the end turn. But yeah, you could... You should press this attack. You've got the advantage now. Blood and blunder. Let me see here. Yeah, doesn't take any damage there. That's nice. And yeah, just get some more money. So what I do in this situation is probably push towards Swamp Town. Don't worry about that one. Oh god, she's annoying. Mm, can't negotiate with them. Siren of the Storm. Alright, put Burke Black March, you dead here, a uh, Powerx. Oh, it is Wolf Settlement, right. So, <laughs> I, did, I got that wrong. Um, still, we got, I mean, it was a good defensive position. You don't necessarily need Walls to beat them. In fact, Walls might have actually made it less uh, possible to win it. Then, yeah, because you don't want to recruit any more units into his army. If they come around over here, they're not going to win that. So, I think we should be aggressive here. And really put the stomping down on the lizards. Let me just check something really quick. Okay, I got an idea. So you come over to here. Go into encamp stance. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work for... Um, for them for some reason. Alright, wouldn't mind. I need an audience. Yeah, I'll let you level him up how you want later. Same thing with this. I wouldn't... Oh, actually, getting a Rotten Promethean for the Gunnery White's not too bad. But yeah, next time we attack this. Because yeah, we can't... Probably can't reach it from here. Let's see here. Which settlement is most likely to come under attack that we need to wall up? Probably the Floating Pyramid. Monument of the Moon could use walls. And we got just enough money to get through that turn. Uh, let's see here. I think we could justify disbanding these two units because it's trash. And that way you'll actually make money over the turn. Oh. <laughs> not much, but it's something. It's just it's, it's garbage, that's all. They're not going to be able to get through here. Alright, I'm not going to do that. Alright. Let's move on and see how we go. Alright, well they didn't do anything, but we definitely wanted to stop them from recruiting. I knew that they would start recruiting from here, which is why we had to be aggressive and to prevent it. Ready. Good, now you can switch them, switch them back around. There we go. That way he gets the physical resistance. And then... Let's have a look at their strength ranking. Yeah, they're they're weaker than us at the moment, but you really need to press that attack. If we have a look at who else they're fighting, yeah, they're fighting wars on multiple fronts. So, well, they're not going to do anything to you because Nakai is dead. I can tell because he's not a vassal. And then there's these ones here. So you've only got one frontier that you have to worry about, really. So that's obviously very good for you. Do not intimidate me. They might send that army to come over here and occupy Shrine of Sotek, which will probably benefit you. But yeah, let's do this. If we win this here, 
He's sorted. If he can't handle it from there, then he needs to lower the difficulty. I'm sure he can handle it. Alright. Says we can auto resolve it, but I reckon the heroes here will take the most damage. So let's fight it manually. Just make sure we do a good job of this one. This time I think I'll instead of using the heroes, I'll actually use the magic. Because it's not not that dangerous. I should have done that in the last battle, I don't know why I didn't. I mean we got through with only 33 casualties, but I mean the heroes took a bit of damage. Alright, we shouldn't have anything to worry about here. It's not a super dangerous opponent, but we need good terrain. The, the hills here are a bit of a problem. I'm not going to use him at all. Sure that they're shooting at infantry units. And we'll send the ghosts of the past to go and sort out those Cold One Spear Riders. In a moment. Alright, let's do this. That's not good. That's not good. Gotta stop that. Can't reach that there. That would be really good, but yeah, I just can't reach. Alright, only a little bit of damage there. Not too bad. Let's do another one of these. Want to keep them delayed as long as possible. They're starting to fail now. We've got to wait a little bit before we get another one. They held them back for a little bit. We need to be ready to deal with them, though. This guy here is almost gone. How about you just come over here and just terror out him? Got no more dentists into the deep or anything, so. Just gonna have to soak up a little bit of damage there. We'll be popping another one down over here real soon. It's alright, we took a little bit of damage, nothing too major though. There comes the army losses. Cool. A little bit of damage, nothing major. No units wiped out. And auto resolve said we'd get a close victory, and I got a decisive, so that's a bit better. I reckon it would have um, pretty evenly spread out the casualties, but I think I think the heroes might have ended up pretty badly damaged. But I'm not sure, because it only tells you if if a unit's going to get wiped out, not how much damage you're actually going to take. I mean, it says low, but I've seen low range from like 100 kills to 1,000 kills. You never know sometimes. <laughs> no, you really need to press your advantage here. Okay, and now you're strong enough to be able to handle the rest of this, no problem. And if we have a look at their strength ranking, we've dropped them down to near nothing. I would highly advise, probably... Yeah, I reckon you need to occupy this one first. 
Would you reach there over the next turn? No. So probably just stay there and in camp stance. That way if they attack you, you can handle it. Um... But yeah, this seems like it's in much better shape now, so we'll we'll end it here. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.